just finished testing the C-Ray SLXW230. Uh, now this is C-Ray's first V-Drive tournament style wake, wake forward and wake surfing boat. And it's got some really clever innovations. Now to help you shape the wake, uh, it's got the dynamic running uh, surface, which are tabs that conform to the, the shape of the hull. Now we're powered by a Mercruiser a Tough Sport 6.2 liter, 370 horsepower engine. And it proved to be a really nice match for this boat. Got on plane at 4 seconds flat to 25 miles an hour in 7.2 seconds, and her top speed was 41 miles an hour even. Now, this boat has a 21 degrees of dead rise, which really helps settle the boat in the water a little bit and not only uh, helps you build the wake, but it gives you a nice uh, ride when you're in the chop. Something that doesn't happen on a lot of ski boats will beat you up pretty good sometimes. Let's head back to the dock and check out some of the features of this boat. This boat really turns nice too. We're in Chicago here, it's a, just a beautiful day. Now one of the trickiest things about owning an inboard is docking them. It's really difficult. I'm in, be, in between some really expensive boats here. But I've got the uh, Mercruiser joystick piloting for inboard system. And with that, I can do maneuvers like walk it sideways, which is amazing. I have zero minutes doing this. This is my first lash at it. Try that with a Malibu. <laughs> Simply amazing. Rich, something tells me this isn't like the normal Sea Ray here. Just looking at the uh, sparkly uh, gel coat here and the transom, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so this is the all new SLX 230W. Uh, so what this boat is, it's a traditional runabout boat built on the same luxury family line as our SLX, but it also has the added feature of being able to wake surf behind this boat. Yeah, we had it out earlier and we were plowing up some beautiful waves. Now, now tell me about the running surface and, and what makes it create the wake. Yeah, so below the waterline, you've got a combination of a couple of different features. One, you've got our dynamic running surface, which are the tabs on the outside. And what those tabs do, they'll, they're gonna dig into the water and allow you to get up on plane very quickly and, and level set your boat. Then in the center, you've got our surf fins, and they operate independently of each other. And what the surf fins do is they're actually going to carve your pocket right. and clean up your wake uh, so it's nice and smooth on the running surface in your pocket in the rear. Right. Now, you know, one thing that struck me is maybe a little different than a lot of wake surf boats is how much freeboard you have here. This It's like it's... Uh, it's still a sea ray and uh, it looks like you're accommodating the family uh, really well with this boat. Yeah, absolutely. We wanted to make sure that we were designing a boat that you could get out there and competitively surf behind it, have a great time uh, and build a really great wake sports boat, but at the same time be able to do a sunset cruise and not worry about taking water over the bow or your family not feeling secure when you get into the rough water situation. Yeah, I did that about water over the bow in a boat I was testing the other day. It's not hard to do. Now. You know, a lot of a lot of uh, wakeboard boats and wake surf boats. I noticed the tower is an option, which is just crazy to me because you got to have to have a tower. This is a standard feature on the Sea Ray, right? Absolutely. This is standard. It also has the Bimini as well, uh, which is attached to the tower. Now, the speakers that you see here are part of our upgrade system, uh, so you can get the upgraded audio package, uh, and also with two cans or four cans for your stereo system. Nice. Uh, Rich, tell me about the ballast on this boat. Yeah, so the ballast tanks on this boat are actually built into the liner, so they weren't just an afterthought. So by building the tanks into the liner, it allows you to maintain all of your storage space still under your seats. Uh, and it's three separate ballast tanks, and it's going to hold just over 1,900 pounds of ballast in the rear of this boat. Uh, but again, because they're built into the liner, you still have your in-floor storage, and you still have your storage under your seats as well. Tell me about the helm. What do we have? Yeah, so on the helm here, you've got your, your dynamic display here, uh, which is all digital. This is also where you control all of your surf functions mm -hmm. uh, so everything is kind of push of a button uh, within here to control your surf function so you've got several different presets so if you surf left or you surf right you've got a heavier or lighter surfer you can do your presets uh, push your wake button 
The other nice thing that you can do if you've got an experienced surfer that can cross the wake with the push of a button inside of about three seconds, mm -hmm. it'll carve your wake pocket from the left to the right side so you can actually surf on both sides of the boat without having to shut down and readjust your ballast. Uh, Rich, explain the uh, joystick piloting for inboard system to me. Yeah, so that's a unique system in that it is an inboard boat, uh, but it is a single engine. And so before now, you haven't been able to add joystick piloting to a single engine boat. Uh, so what we've done with this boat is we have, a, have an aft and a forward thruster on this boat. Um, and combined with the joystick, it allows you to be able to spin this boat within its own length. You can crab this boat left and right. And even most importantly, from a safety factor, if you drop your skier, you drop your surfer, you can simply chop the throttle, spin the boat around in its own length, and you're 20 to 30 yards from your from your rider without them having to be hanging out in the lake waiting for you to make the long turn to yeah, come back and get them. That's a great point, too. Absolutely. And docking, I, I swear, I, ha I, I run a lot of boats every year, but I still have trouble docking an inboard and it's this this made it so easy I, that was my first lash at it and I was able to just walk it right to the dock in between two very expensive boats, I might add. Yeah, well, and if it makes you feel any better, most people have trouble <laughs> with an inboard boat in tight spaces. They yeah. only like to turn in one direction, and that's the same direction the prop is turning in. Sure. So what this does is this kind of makes everybody a salty old sea captain in about <laughs> three minutes, and it allows you to, to maneuver in the tight spa spaces much easier up in the fuel docks, around more expensive boats, and on and off your trailer. It's all about looking good. Absolutely. <laughs>